Ferrer is giving Santaya a run for her money now for player of the game. Oh, huh? gosh. Soriano, there's that wicked jump serve once again. And that will never cross. Gretchen Ho didn't even touch that ball. Tied at nine. Sotteneos uh, come back now. But you can see that even uh, with a single block, Gretchen Ho was able to read that oh. ball where it's going. Look at all the uh, look at all the freshmen. They're all in front. <laughs> <laughs> Only uh, the two guest players and four incoming sophomores are in for us. Oh, and another ace coming from Clara Soriano. I think it's time to burn a timeout if I'm uh, Coach Telma at this point. Well, uh, tignan natin in the next point. Mukha nga na tumayo na rin oh. si Coach Telma Barina. She just lost her lead. Here's Soriano. Yumang. Juan. Soriano saving it. Sontaya from behind the attack line. Atrasan na lang, pero hindi na ni Sontaya. My goodness, what a smart move there by the very young Sontaya. Just with enough power, sent that ball in. And we have a timeout here finally by St. Benil. Well, that Blazers uh, timeout as we invite you to check out the league's official website www.v-league.ph for all the latest here on the Shakey's V League. Natanong ko kanina while well, the timeout was happening kung nagkaabot sa national team si Mick Mick at saka si uh, Coach Telma. Walamang hindi daw. Oh, Coach hindi Ma. na. Hindi na talaga kasi uh, let's put it this way. Uh, after ni Lamamate, ako yung pumalit eh. Ah, okay. So si Mick Mick, sobrang hindi ko na inabutan yun. Pero hindi mo na rin inabutan si Mamate sa, no. ano, sa national team. Uh, oh. When she left, kami yung pumalit. Kami yung batch na pumalit sa kanila actually nila Grace Antigua. Although we got to play with them. From youth time pa sila. Time. Anong yung mga, ano, yung mga veterans na? Yes. 12 to 9. Napako na po sa 9 points itong College of St. Benil. Kapi Kwan wants to change all of that. Naririnig ko na yung ulan. Umahagupit na naman sa labas. At umahagupit na rin ang puntos para din sa kumpunan ng St. Benil. They're making a set out of this one. And uh, Atenea wasn't able to read that. Well, although they were there already, nagtingi na lang. That's right. So now, Kapi Kwan. Very, very quiet today. In fact, I think she's only scored two points today. One of the leading scorers for the College of St. Benil. But a much, much better set for St. Right. Benil in this third set. Oh! And as I am saying, that one getting a point out of the serve. Again, I'm amazed here at Ateneo. The two guest players, well, now, since Soriano na upo muna in uh, favor of uh, Stephanie Gabriel, but now four freshmen. They're all playing together now. This is your game to win or lose. Sinasabi ni Mick Laborte. Here's Ferrer setting up Kaing Let. And that one is it. And he hits the line. So Kaing Let. I'm trying to think of another group of players that have come in together and turned an entire program around. Even in basketball, if it's fun family pizza, it's pretty shaky. Hindi naman sabay-sabay pumasok yung Wesley Gonzalez and Rico Villanueva at Richa Alvarez sa Ateneo. Because ano yun eh, program nga eh. Yes. So... It's a continuous program, pero minsan nga if uh, meron ka talaga crop of real good right. rookies and potential players, napaka plus factor din yan. I mean, look Kapag at these four. Na, ng isang taon, pero oh. after which, uh, right. it's a long run for you. Well, Gretchen Ho is able to score there again on an excellent set from Ferrer. And look at that, I mean, I, they, I don't even know if they know the meaning of pressure. <laughs> itong, itong apat na bakak to. Oh, just oh. playing what they love. Look at that, so, kaying left with a taste. Yun, minsan na maganda if they're young. Parang hindi pa sila, hindi pa sila aware oh. dun sa pressure. Parang they are so oblivious to the kind of pressure that if they win this game and they win against UP, they have a shot of making it to the next game. It's just like they are playing unconsciously. Right. Wala lang eh. It's going through the motion, pero because, just because they're very skilled. Yes, isa pa yun. 
So I'm trying to remember a group of uh, youngsters that came in as rookies or came in as freshmen and made such a big impact on the program. I can't think of anything like that. Except these four. Aguero. Going to Penetrante. Yumang is there. Aguero. This time goes to Yumang. Over the blockers. Ferrer. Sets up Santaya. That set was a little too far for Santaya. Here's Aguero. Back set for Ivy. Still a good ball. Tying left from behind the attack line. Got the attack that time. Penetrante. Oh, beautiful angle there for Penetrante. Alam mo, may naisip ako doon sa question mo. Alam mo, hindi mo may naisip ako. Pagkita mo na natin yung hatang dito ni Morina. Slow-mo action by Mori Morin Penetrante. Slow-mo na yan ngayon, pero oh. kanina ang bilis niyan. Oh, oh. Well, uh, ang naisip ko dyan na, uh, well, siguro itong Lasal uh, basketball team ngayon na maraming youth squad. That squad could be true. That could yes. be true. Yes. Something to look into yes. in the coming UAAP dahil uh, buka ngayon sa mga pre-season games nila eh, panay rookies. That could be very true. Ang humakataw oh, oh. for Lasal. Hindi ako makakatulog kasi pa hindi ko nasagot yung question mo. Sorry. <laughs> no, but that, Kaya I'm trying to think. Kaya ko eh. Sa Amerika kasi dati, the Michigan, uh, Michigan Wolverines, yun, meron silang Fab Five, limang freshmen, including Chris Weber, Jalen Rose, Joanne Howard, yung grupong yun. Pero dito sa, sa Pilipinas, I'm trying to think of a batch like that. You could be right about that LaSalle basketball team. But the Ateneo basketball team, that is evi uh, volleyball team, that is evident right here. Ferrer, Sontaya, Oh, that's another Barry Basco is also giving us a good example here. Limpot, Cardell, John John Mariano. This group for La Salle before. That's also a pretty good uh, group of freshmen. As we take a look at that last play, para sa kumpunan ng Ateneo, Suntaya, will she be a freshman? I don't know. We'll be back. Back with us here, ladies and gentlemen. May 10, Sunday is Mother's Day. You can watch the Shakey's V-League at home on your TV set starting 2 p.m. UST versus Lyceum.